Good morning, I'm Dr. Austin. Today I'll be talking about cells. Well, what is a cell? A cell is the basic unit of life. Basic unit both structurally and functionally. When we say structural unit of life, we are in effect saying just like this wall is made from blocks or made up of blocks, that is how life is made up of cells. So cells make up life. Now there are some forms of life that are very simple and are made up of just one cell. And then there are some other forms of life that are very complex such as you and I. And those forms of life are made up of trillions of cells. Now when we say the cell is the basic functional unit of life, that is to say the functions of life are the functions of the cell. Whatever activity we carry out, including the muscular movements I'm making, including the speech, you know, my voice you can hear, are the products of cells in action. So when cells work, we are able to function. So cells are the basic structural and functional units of life. Now there are two basic types of cells. We call them prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. Those two terms are, can be explained as follows. We can look at this term, carrion. Carrion stands for the nucleus. Yeah, so carrion means nucleus. Now you means true and pro means before. So putting those terms together, prokaryotic existing before the nucleus. So the prokaryotes are organisms that existed before the nucleus as it were. That's more like saying they do not have a nucleus. Before the nucleus came, they already existed. And true to that, prokaryotes are those organisms that do not have nuclei in their cells. Now the prokaryotes are not very many. We have them in just one kingdom, and that is the kingdom called Monera. And in the kingdom Monera, as you may be well aware, the organisms that are present there are the bacteria. So bacteria in the kingdom Monera, and they are the prokaryotes, organisms that do not have the nucleus. Now in some contexts they tell us that bacteria do not have a true nucleus. Same thing. Some others say that bacteria or prokaryotes do not have a nuclear envelope, or they do not have a membrane-bound nucleus. In any case, we say that they do not have the nucleus. Now for the eukaryotes, they have the true nucleus. They have the nucleus that is bound by membrane. There are other organelles too are bound by membrane, unlike in our prokaryotes, where there are no membrane-bound organelles. Now which organisms are eukaryotic? All other organisms apart from the bacteria, apart from the monerans, are classified as eukaryotic. Now, having mentioned this, what is a prokaryotic cell like? A prokaryotic cell can be illustrated this way. We can have a very small illustration of a prokaryotic cell. Now, this is by no means exhaustive, but can be managed within the context of our discussion. So, I can draw something like that to represent a prokaryotic cell. So this is a bacterial cell, really. Now, that is not to say that all bacteria look like this, but this is a generalization of their structures. Different forms of bacteria take different shapes. You may be conversant with things like um, spherical bacteria, we call them the cocci. Then you have um, commercial bacteria and so on. But all of these have been generalized into one. So this is a bacterial cell. What are its components? As usual, there is the cell membrane, just as you could have or expect in other cells. There's the cell membrane, and then there's the cytoplasm within it. But unlike the cells we are familiar with, where there's a definite nucleus, here we do not have a nucleus. Instead, we have the genetic material naked like that. And that region where we find the genetic material is referred to as the nucleoid region. 
So nucleoid in prokaryotes and nucleus in eukaryotes. Now this is the cytoplasm as already mentioned with organelles within it, just that those organelles are naked. And then outside of the cell membrane, what we have here is called cell wall. Now you are familiar with cell wall. You possibly have heard about this before with respect to plants, with respect to fungi. Fungi have cell walls made up of chitin. Plant cell walls are made up of cellulose. But in the case of bacteria, their cell walls are usually made up of what we refer to as peptidoglycan. Peptidoglycan from the term peptidoglycan, I'm sure you can tell that it contains protein and carbohydrate. Then, outside of the cell wall, there may be another membrane. Yes, not always present. Where present, that membrane is referred to as a capsule. And any bacterium that has this capsule is said to be encapsulated. So some bacteria have the capsule, some others do not have it. Then what you see here, we refer to as a pillars. Pillars, the plural of that to be pili. So these pili are present on the outer surface of the bacterial cell. Now, having seen that representation of a prokaryotic cell, what about the eukaryotic cell? Now, for the eukaryotic cells, because all other organisms are eukaryotes, it means that there will be much to talk about. But for relevance sake, we usually will talk about plant cells and animal cells as the two types of eukaryotic cells. So I'll tell you about eukaryotic cells in a moment.